Hey everyone, it's Master TJT56, and welcome to a reaction video of Dragon Ball Legends. As you can see, this is the new one that came out. Well, I think at the moment I'm recording is yesterday or earlier today. I don't know. I don't remember. But anyways, I avoided everything. Did not check anything. As much as I wanted to see what it was, I stayed away from it. So I could give you guys my personal reaction. And without further ado, let's start the video. Welcome back to Video and Stuff. I'm the producer of Dragon Ball Legends, Toshi. Look who it is. We have two new members today. Hi everybody, I am Jennifer, community manager on Dragon Ball Legends. Hello, I'm Yamaka, the other community manager. It is great to meet our Dragon Ball Legends players. So this is our first time as Dragon Ball Legends presenting our community manager to all our players. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so basically as community managers, we listen very closely to the voice of the community, which we look forward to view, Doshi. That's right. As a matter of fact, Janneke and I have been working together on Dragon Ball Legends for some time now. And one of our goals is to create more content for the community. Probably you have seen a few of our new social media posts on Facebook and Twitter. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we've already working on other kinds of content, like a video tutorial series that's in the work right now. So, so basically, they're the ones who were sending, like, um, their choices to send the, um, the surveys and whatever to see what we like or listen to our feedback or whatever. They try their best. And that's cool. I really like that this game is trying to listen out to all of its, like, players, casual, hardcore, or in-between, which is great. And I'm glad that they're doing that. Like, everyone keeps thinking, oh, Toshi does all of this. No, he gets ideas from everyone else. And then he tells, like, the creators or producers or whatever to try to work their way around it. So, like, it's not all on Toshi. It's a whole team project. Hopefully that will help new beginning players. Rest assured that we will make everything to make sure that the development team and the community come closer together. That's something I'm personally looking forward to as well, because at the end of the day, uh, we have the team oh, working on the game, but... Okay. We're not truly professionals at really making ourselves too public outside, so um, these two will definitely, hopefully, make... Me Sorry about that, because I just noticed, like, why is it so muffled? Why does it feel so low? When I have it midway, I forgot, since this is my new phone I'm recording on, I forgot to take the tape off of the speaker, so it kind of sounded a little commercial. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyways, let's continue. Entire environment a lot better for all the players. Hopefully. Yeah, yes, we hope so too. But yeah, let's move on to the in-game information, because mm -hmm. at last we implemented a new game mode, Tournament of Power. I actually like that mm -hmm. one. So that's something big that we have been working on for quite a long time, actually. And I'm hoping that many players are having fun. Or if they're not, we would definitely like to hear the voices of that so that we can work on it. As many of you may be already aware, it's in the preseason. Basically means um, what we're doing right now, what you're participating in, isn't something that's going to be rock solid for the future. We're probably going to be tweaking lots of things, not just in terms of like gaming and balancing, but in terms of like the ranking or how frequently you play it and so on. So as of now, we're, I wouldn't say testing the waters because we're, we're comfortable. We'd like to think we're comfortable with what we have, but the more we hear from you guys, the easier it is for us to move on and make it better or to tweak it. Yeah, so definitely let us know on social media, Twitter or Facebook, what you think of the Tournament of Power, and uh, we will let Toshi know. That's right. But, you know, you did not only implement a uh, Tournament of Power, you also implemented Ultra. Yes, the Ultra Rarity. I'm pretty sure the first time when players heard it, they probably thought, oh god, they're going to have to get gather lots of Chrono Crystals first. But <laughs> no, um, we're definitely going to be providing these ultras in similar manners as the first Super Saiyan Goku did for now. And then maybe in the far future, they might start appearing as different characters in the summons. But as of now, we're planning on providing for more content similar to what we did with Goku, where you have to play different modes, where you have to participate in different uh, content. And 
gather Z power for that Goku in different methods. Of course, it doesn't mean you have to play PvP or that you have to play co-op. We're, at the end of the day, gonna leave that decision up to the players because oh, we want for them to make that choice. But we're also going to say, if you play it all, you're gonna get a lot more than not playing it all. Yeah, we definitely want people to remind them to definitely do this so you can collect all the Z power. Yeah, before. yeah. I kind of hope that they don't push the ultra rarity characters towards Chrono Crystals, like make them summonable. Like I think they might do it like Zenkai, like to get like more of it if you miss it just in case or something like that. I hope that's what they mean. I don't want them to do that. That's one thing I don't want. Hopefully they don't fall down, fall down that route. Make it like free for everyone. So everyone can get it and whatnot. Like how they're doing with the Ultra Super Saiyan Goku, the Ultra Rarity. Like what they're doing is like, oh, play this, use energy, play PvP, or play co-op, or like do certain missions, KO a certain amount of characters, and so on. I want them to do that. I hope they do not resolve for Chrono Crystals for these types of animations. Are you sure they're going to be excited? Also, I have to say that I really like the art direction that you guys took on this, and mm -hmm. congratulations to the team because you did an amazing job. So <laughs> I am pretty sure uh, everybody's going to be happy about it. The art exactly. team really took their time and care to make sure that this is something distinguishable from other pieces of Dragon Ball, that this is unique to Dragon Ball Legends. As you can tell, the dark ink, the slightly Japanese-esque feeling to it, and is kind of very unique to Legends as a whole. And also it makes sure that you can tell as a whole that the rarity that is Ultra is something clearly distinguishable from other characters. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, we'll definitely not forget to play it, but we're gonna move on to a next segment, our first time for Ask Stuff, which will be, mm -hmm. uh, was held during the battle hour for the first time. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna have to have some questions for you, Toshi. So I hope you're ready. <laughs> Yeah, we still had like, what, 1,690 something questions left in our hands from that point on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I also heard that 200 of those questions were about you, <laughs> yeah, asking um... questions about you. So how do you feel about that? <laughs> well, um, some of them were very much personal. So no, I'm not going to answer yeah, all yeah, of them. Yeah, but... <laughs> oh, yeah I'll, we'll try to answer as much as possible in terms of gameplay, in terms of Dragon Ball Legends. Of I don't course. know about the personal ones. Yeah. Maybe take me out to dinner somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's things. start with those questions. Yeah, then. so I have question one. Uh, mm -hmm. When looking at specific characters, it says, they activate the following effects on themselves at the start of battles. How long will the effect of abilities last when activation time is not specified? So, uh, at this point, we have many characters with different abilities, and I understand some feedback saying it looks like I'm reading a dictionary for certain characters. At the same time, Many people can tell that certain characters are very strong because of the wall of text that they see it. But uh, it's another dif difficult part for us to move on with because um, the more new abilities that we add, the easily it can be confusing with more systems exactly. added on top of each other. Um, and it doesn't really, really leave much for vagueness, especially because this game that is Dragon Ball Legends basically is uh, kind of similar to a real-time card game of sorts where everybody's playing in the same rule. In the question that you mentioned earlier with the abilities, with the buffs that activate, usually there are a few major laws that we follow where if it specifies the count counter time, it, the moment the character steps in, the moment char the character uses that attack, that's when the counter time starts. So for those of you who may want to keep close count of how long that buff is la lasting, they should maybe pay attention to the top left corner of the screen and kind of uh, subtract the time from that point on, which I understand is a difficult feat, especially in PvP. So in the future, maybe we'd like to make these count count times or these kind of uh, time left that you have on certain buffs a lot more visibly distinguishable. And we understand that that's uh, a, an issue. But um, another rule is if it doesn't specify a time, it usually that won't go away. It's something of a semi-permanent uh, effect. I mean, and the reason I say semi is because there are certain characters that will cancel your buffs. There are certain characters that can use their main abilities 
or their uh, special card and get rid of your uh, buffs. And that that's when it, it goes away, obviously. Yep. But aside from that, it usually stays with your character. And um, then there are also the buffs that says not cancelable, which aren't cancelable, as <laughs> we like to think simple is very that. clear. Yeah, it's very, uh, we'd like to think it's clear and simple, um, meaning they're literally permanent, and as long as you have that character out, they will be buffing that character in the sense that ex should be explained in the ability. Okay. Yeah. All right. Awesome Thank answer. You. Second question now. So oh. mm -hmm. does the management team sometimes disagree on things like abilities or elements? Uh, I wouldn't say sometimes. We it's it usually starts out with a disagreement because um, there are <laughs> many things that we have to look at in terms of um, how character functions. Not just in the sense of the current meta, the environment of what players are using, but also there are certain characters where players, not just players, but uh, us as um, fans of Dragon Ball as well, would like to see certain characters play out differently. So we want certain characters to be as strong as possible, obviously. And then there's people like me that says, no, please don't. And um, there, there's lots of arguments that goes on. Which kind of makes and, sense. Uh, like a lot of people, like, like for example, Zenkai Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. That guy is a monster. So I'm pretty sure like they had a lot of disagreements, but eventually it just fell and like, okay, pick this character then. Do what you want. Same with the Yellow Zenkai 18. So, like, for people who think is not fair, it's kind of, like, obvious that, like, not everyone's fully agreeing. It's about a few, week, a few weeks prior to um, it being released in terms of tweaking and balancing. And uh, there's much discussion, but we'd, we'd like to think it's a healthy discussion. And also, um, the disagreement that we have isn't something of uh, an unhealthy one where uh, we just simply want to make certain characters stronger than something else, or we want to push out certain tags more than others. We want to make sure that uh, in the environment as a whole is, I wouldn't say entirely sense, fair, okay. because at the end, made sure that uh, if you oh, did screw up, if you did get hit... Skip through the video. That is deep, but romantic in a way. Did you write this, or was this really in the, the strongest candy in the world? Yeah. Um, personally, I would love to see it. Yes. I mean, probably in Dragon Ball Legends. Wait, 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 go back, go back. Like, that one's just... You know what? At least it's I, original. <laughs> yeah, it's very original. You know, I suggest you bringing maybe Majin Buu and um, making sure that she can't switch characters, maybe? I have no idea how to good answer one, this. Good but, one. Uh, there are certain characters that stops you from using a switch cover, so if you don't want them to dodge, yeah, um, <laughs> those characters are what I suggest. Well, I hope he doesn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please let us know. Please let us know what happened. Uh, then I have another question. Will candy Fujito ever be made? <laughs> yep. The strongest candy in the world? Yeah. Um, personally, I would love to see it, yes. I mean, probably in Dragon Ball Legends, it would literally be just a dot flying in the air. But... Uh, <laughs> Um, no, we have no plans for it yet. Maybe in the future. Who oh, no. knows? That's amazing. I hope that they do that. That should be <laughs> just imagine a little circle floating around. That's gonna be amazing. I can already like picture so many things with it. Like that would be a funny and fun quote unquote character to have. Right. And <laughs> well, and the last question is actually about the legendary finishes. Oh. So for moves that weren't in the original manga or anime, like Super Saiyan Vegito or Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito, how do you decide how to bring them to legends? So when we first created the legendary finishes, we wanted to make sure that the iconic scenes that everybody loved and uh, wanted to reenact were basically brought to an entirely different tier of their own. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, little by little, we had not just the fans, but on our end as well, wanting to see characters that were just generally hyped in general, very popular. And we're back. Sorry about that short little cut. Had to help with my family real quick. Yada yada, let's continue. Characters in general. And those characters usually are popular for, like, 
just their existence, basically, <laughs> not just a single move. So we had to figure out ways of providing, uh, picking up certain aspects of the character that would just, not just in terms of anime or uh, other Dragon Ball forms of uh, art, just not just being accurate, but uh, making sure that uh, they were cool without, I wouldn't say um, disappointing the fans, but uh, without uh, letting them, exp okay, let me rephrase that. We don't want to, we wanted to provide the characters without always letting the players know what to expect. Ah. So Vegito is a good example. Everybody knew they wanted Vegito uh, to be a high tier character, a very strong character. We wanted to provide the character in a, in the best possible scenario. But like earlier you said, like uh, Vegito has multiple forms and uh, his fight was kind of long against Majin Buu. Um, and that entire series, that entire arc is what made him popular. So we couldn't even pick up on something. So we wanted to bring an entirely original idea to him. That's pretty so cool. So we chose the character first and then we tried to elevate him to that tier of legendary finish. Thank you so much for answering all the That's questions. Uh, that okay, is it for now, but uh, maybe next time we'll, we'll answer some more and I hope you uh, will answer them, even if they're silly. <laughs> In fact, I'd like to see more more of our players ask us silly questions too on the SNS. So uh, we're not going to just simply look at the previous seventeen hundred questions that that were asked. We're definitely going to keep picking them up as they as the game goes on. Yeah, yeah. well, definitely so, ask. Yeah, them. <laughs> we are there. We are reading your questions, your comments, everything. So please just share whatever you want. <laughs> and we still want to know how it turns out for the guy in the classroom and the girl. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. That's, that, that's weird, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to the next segment, Legends Update Info. So this one is going to be something of uh, more of a ambiguous or uh, mm. things that we'd like to do in the future, not something that it's going to be uh, necessarily updated oh, okay. next month or before the anniversary and such. So we want everybody to know that this is something that we're focusing on. For an example, we're definitely trying to cut down on unnecessary loading time. That's good. That's good to hear, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another thing is uh, basically a recommending equipment screen of sort, some sort. Basically, Dragon Ball Legends, besides the characters, players have an assortment of equipments that they can work mm -hmm. on, that they can keep I grinding for to make their team their own style of uh, basically just direction that they can take. And the equipments makes that a lot more, I wouldn't say uh, extreme, but it helps the players out to make sure that they can take those characters and play as they want. And we understand that there's lots of choices. There's, in fact, some of them are named similarly to each other. That's something that we understand is an yeah. issue. <laughs> like, uh, there's just different characters laughing uh, or uh, shouting, and some of them is really difficult to distinguish. So in the future, we're going to make sure that those are a lot more easily distinguishable between each equipment. And also, players would be able to find out what kind of equipments are being used by top tier oh, players. Oh, that's amazing. That's good. Yeah, but like I see a lot of players who, for example, don't use any equipment mm -hmm. in the co-op or PvP. And, you know, that's also one of the reasons we decided to uh, create the new tutorial series because we also want to explain maybe if they don't mm -hmm. know how to, to do that. But yeah, equipment yes. is extremely important. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely get confusing because indeed what you said, Doshi, there's so many different ones of yeah. the same characters. And I'm just like, okay, but I have, you know, Android 18. Do I have to use all these matching equipments or do I go for others? It's, it is definitely mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. So um, most players that are very hardcore usually have their own direction that they want to take the party into. But for those of you who still don't know what to do or who have the characters but uh, don't know which one to equip, uh, we're hoping that this uh, suggestion uh, system, of sort of the recommendation system in the future will help them out and basically make their party one step or maybe more even beyond stronger than what they have right now yeah cannot wait for that <laughs> yeah will be awesome another thing is uh making the multi z power easier to use that's great so i'm pretty sure many people have their opinions on the multi z power like uh why can i only carry three yes. or why do i have to keep going back and forth to use it yes. as for the n numbers uh we don't want people to stock up and then use it on a new character and uh, just spam it into one 
character. We want to make sure that this is a reward that everybody can constantly get, but at the same time, we'll have to use immediately so that we don't have to worry about um, having people stockpile it. But um, right now, the system is kind of made to force you to... Uh, Pretty much you say, like, okay, we want them to still spend money. Because pretty much what they want to do is that they don't want us to stock up on Z power. And once we get, we summon for the new character and we get it, we can easily use the Z power and boost them up. Like, right. how about now? <laughs> that's pretty much what they're saying. Uh, go back and forth between different menus. And that's something that we didn't really want for the players to experience either. It was kind of a system requirement of sorts that we kind of had to do. And pretty much this is something that we're definitely going to fix in the future. Pretty much he's saying, we don't want you to do use too much Corona Crystals, but at the same time, we still want you to use Corona Crystals. That's pretty much what it's saying. Because, why would they even say that? <laughs> because, they, because they pretty much are like, if they can stockpile on it, then that means no more people summoning a lot on the new banner. And that means no more money. We got to stop that. <laughs> sure. So we hope that uh, players look forward to that, especially for those of you who are always grinding for the high tier difficulties and uh, just constantly using the Z multi-Z powers. I understand your sentiments in that uh, it's a bother, it's a hassle. I think so as well, especially the ones in the guild shop. Those are so annoying to use. I f am in the same boat as you, and we're definitely going to make those a lot easier to use. Yeah, I'm glad to not have to go to my inbox as much as all the time then. <laughs> and another function that uh, we'd like to work on is making sure that uh, certain characters having bonus ability buffs in certain content are a lot more easily distinguishable. Right now, certain events, like you take in certain characters, allow you to get more drops, more rewards for that content. Those are written in the in-game info, but not many people obviously read it and i don't want to have to force you to read it as well so we want to make sure that those are easier to decide on when basically challenging the content itself when going to that event and just looking at your party and maybe the game will tell you the character that you have in your party right now will give you more bonus buffs or drop give you more drops so those are uh, something that we want to make sure are a lot more visibly distinguishable well uh, this is something of uh the buff itself, we, want, we wanted to provide in the early days, and uh, we prioritized implementing the buff itself over the UI, so that's why it ended up being as it is right now. So it was, at the end of the day, we don't intend for the players to have to slog through different screens and suffer <laughs> before playing. Yeah, we, we want them to keep playing. We want them to just simply play as they like, and uh, we hope everybody understands that the, the stress that people feel those are something that we feel as well and would like to see go away. Well, hopefully all of these improvements will eventually come to the game. Uh, we probably are going to, you know, update all the players about this. So, yeah, mm -hmm. keep an eye out on social media. All right. And okay. I think there's one more update that we're trying to work on is um, recovering your energy. Thank you. Everybody requires energy to keep playing their content right now. There is the option of um, recovering your energy using Chrono Crystals or through your tank. But Thanks. you have to use one energy to spend your Chrono Crystals, and it's a bit of a hassle. So those kind of minor uh, tweaks, uh, limitations, will go away in the future. I hope so. And also another thing that uh, we'll probably try to make sure to implement is allowing for players to get rid of adventures that they don't need because uh, those fill up okay. very quickly very quickly especially if like pvp it's always full basically yeah. trying In to fact, find the right ones <laughs> as of this recording it's not implemented but for all we know some of these systems could be already implemented when the video goes live well well Hopefully. if you do and you like to change this definitely let us know yeah, yeah we will also be looking forward to that 100 percent mm -hmm. Good evening. Welcome to Legends News. A new character is coming to Legends. All right. Normally, new we showcase new characters that appear in the Legends All-Stars, but today we have something more special. 
This time, we have an all new Legends Limited all character. Right, Legends Let's Limited. start so by checking out this Legendary video. Legendary finish. Who's it gonna be? Oh, really? Legends Limited Super Saiyan 4 Goku is coming. On top of having a rescue type cover change ability, this Goku is an incredible attacker whose damage dealt increases from the start of the battle and every time he's faced with an enemy, making him a very versatile character. He also gets various buffs whenever his allies are defeated. Get him angry enough and his ultimate is basically a one-shot no That's it for Legends News. Thank you. Whoa, 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 go ahead. Legends Limited Super. So they said he's a versatile character who has a rescue type cover change, increases his attack on um, buffs when as soon as the battle starts, or whenever the enemy comes in, like whenever people swap in and out. That's pretty old. He gets buffs when any of his allies. Whatever team you make are defeated. Saying for Goku said his. is coming. On top of having a rest, making him a very versatile character. Okay. He also gets various buffs whenever his allies are defeated. Get him angry enough, and his ultimate is basically a one shot kill. That's scary. What is up with Super Saiyan 4 is having one shot kills? First, in Dragon Ball Fighters, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta came in, and his boosted um level three is a one-shot kill now this goku has the option to want i'm getting scared now <laughs> i and he, he said it's a one-shot kill so like what does that mean like does it mean that this goku has the ability to knock out any type of unit, including a unit that's like has a, the element of an advantage. Like if he's a blue unit and he's going up against a green unit, does that mean he can want? I don't know. I'm pretty scared to see what this Goku can do. That's it for Legends News. Thank you. But that's pretty good. I I look forward to it. I wish there was more characters than just one, but who knows? There's probably more along the way. Sorry. Anyways. Sorry about that. Anyways, this is the end of the video. Like, share, to subscribe, and ring the bell to stay notified with yours truly. And once again, this is Master TJT56 signing out. See you guys.